FEMA has activated its Transitional Sheltering Assistance Program, which allows disaster survivors to temporarily stay in participating hotels. Visit disasterassistance.gov and click on Transitional Sheltering Assistance Program to find which hotels are participating in the program. IDA survivors in all 25 declared parishes can be eligible for rental assistance or temporary housing through FEMA's Individual and Households Program. This assistance can be for a rental house, apartment, hotel, or recreational vehicle, and includes essential utilities such as electricity and water. FEMA does not pay for cable or internet. Individuals and households who have immediate or critical needs because they are displaced from their primary dwelling may be eligible for the Critical Needs Assistance Program, which covers food, water, prescriptions, medical supplies, and other life-saving and life-sustaining items. Critical Needs Assistance is a one-time $500 payment per household. If you have insurance, please contact your insurance company to file a claim before you apply for disaster assistance with FEMA. FEMA cannot duplicate payments for damages your insurance policy has already paid. Remember to take as many photos and videos of your flood damaged home and property losses. For appliances and electronics, take a photograph of the make, model, and serial number. If you do not have insurance, you can apply for disaster assistance at disasterassistance.gov and get referrals to local, state, and federal agencies and voluntary organizations. The fastest way to apply is through disasterassistance.gov. You can also apply by calling 800-621-3362 or through the FEMA mobile app. If you use a relay service, such as your video phone, InnoCaption, or CapTel, please provide your specific number assigned to that service. It is important that FEMA is able to contact you, and you should be aware phone calls from FEMA may come from an unidentified number.